here with you today. Uh, the third video training series in your visibility has come out and I'm so excited about it because we're able to move forward into our message. We've talked about the uh, biggest lie that we've been believing usually our entire lives. We've broken down that old reality. We're building a new reality. And in last week's video, we started building our strengths. So I hope that you got the time to be able to sit down and really figure out what your strengths are. I encourage you to list about 50 of them and it's definitely worth it. And I hope that you've been able to feel that little boost of knowing that you are equipped and that you're ready to move forward with messaging, 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 messaging. So what I like to give as an analogy is like you're sitting down at your favorite restaurant and you're opening a menu and the person opening this menu is your ideal client. And when they're looking to figure out what they want to order, they're looking for that concise description where they can figure out if that dish is going to be the right fit for them. And a lot of times we don't really have a lot of clarity when it comes to exactly what we offer. And even if we do, it's not necessarily, it's like maybe really long. You get to the work with me page and it's like six paragraphs or something and doesn't really hit the main points of what you offer. So it's really important to crystallize. I'm going to write this down. Who you are. And how you serve. And so these really need to be in one or two sentences each, I would say. That's going to be the best amount of time for people to understand exactly who you are and how you serve. And if you're kind of like, well, I feel like I can serve in so many different ways, then you may want to really consider uh, writing out the results that you help your client achieve. Because when you can start filling out results, then you can really condense exactly how you help your ideal client. So if we're going to write results, you can list, do you help them with branding? Do you help them get clarity? Do you help them increase their social media following? Do you help them free up their mindset? Do you help them organize their closet? Do you help them lose weight? How do you help them? And sometimes when we brand ourselves something more generic in terms of coaching, we have a really hard time niching down because we want to help everybody, right? And that's not wrong, but it is not going to be effective when you're attracting people to you because you need to be specific on that menu, right? So let me show you a generic one. So a generic one could be, I am a health coach who helps people live healthier and happier. My writing is just taken, I'm going down the tubes right now. I'm a health coach who helps people live happier and healthier lives. Let me move this over so you can see it. <laughs> okay, let me back this up just a little. I actually have my phone on my chair right now. Isn't that impressive? Okay, so sorry if you can't see that. You can type it into the comments below, but a general description would be, I'm a health coach who helps people live happier and healthier lives. There's nothing wrong with that. It's backwards. Oh, sorry, Ashley. Okay, um, I can't help that. It's the silly phone. Um, I'm a health coach who helps people live happier and healthier lives. A good change for that would be I'm a weight loss specialist who helps single moms lose weight while, or maybe lo lose weight, this would be cute, during nap time and meal plan for more 
daily energy and more restful sleep. Sorry about that. My best friend was calling me. So the difference between I'm a health coach who helps people live healthier and happier lives and I'm a weight loss specialist who helps single moms lose weight during nap time and meal plan for more daily energy and more restful sleep. Who do you think I'm going to be targeting and who do you think is going to be flocking to me because I'm hitting on pain points and I'm resolving them, right? I'm specifically targeting single moms. That doesn't mean those are the only moms I can work with. It's just these are the ones I specialize in because I know how much is on their plate. They're working part-time, they're trying to provide for their family, they're a new mom, they're trying to figure it out, they're struggling with some extra pounds, they want meals that can help them lose weight, they want to be able to do exercises while their baby is sleeping and not take like four hours at the gym, and they want more restful sleep. So the little bit of sleep they do get is more restful. You understand what I'm saying? So this is a much more powerful uh, statement of how you serve. And so that can really be by um, listing out the results that you give people. So that's what I found has been super powerful. So the next step that you want to do in terms of video titles is you want to be able to you grab the eraser here. Oh, look how it's just blurring it like crazy. Ugly. Ugly. Okay, anyway. It look as awful as it does to me. Oh, it looks a little bit better. In terms of your videos, you want to look at your business pillars because these are going to help you, especially on your YouTube channel, really nail your video titles. So what you're going to want to do is uh, list out whether you have one. We're going to just go with one business pillar today just to make things easy. Let's say that this business pillar is mindset. That's a big one, right? A lot of people need help with uh, their mindset because that's really the key to most things in business is your mind. So what you would be doing, let me just check the comments here. I've been focusing on doing this in my business a lot more. That's great, Ashley. I was scared uh, to do it at first because I didn't want to lose out on a potential client. Yeah, I totally, totally hear you. And it it's totally terrifying, but once you actually niche down, the results are pretty incredible because people are like, Oh, that's my specific pain point. I want to work with you versus going to a life coach's website and it being like, I'm going to help you relax and enjoy your life more. It's like, well, that's nice. But like, how are you going to do that? You know? So if our business pillar is mindset, this is actually going to be the category, um, a category on your YouTube channel. And what you're going to want to do is break this down. So mindset might be meditation, affirmation, and maybe hmm, I'm trying to get this to be a little bit more varied. Meditation, affirmation, and maybe language or like thoughts, that would be a good one. What we're doing here is we're creating more and more categories all based on one of your business pillars. And this way people are going to be able to much easier be attracted to you because everything that you're creating in this one category is all related. So instead of them being like, wow, she's really over the map and I don't really understand what she's doing, they're going to be like, oh, this is amazing. I totally understand. I'm obsessed with her. So meditation, then we can go into subcategories. So maybe that is a daily meditation that's maybe 10 minutes. Maybe that's going over like meditation experts where you could be highlighting the meditations that you take like Joe Dispenza or Jen Mavros or whoever it may be. And maybe another thing on meditation is uh, how to change your 
mindset. Maybe you have a specific technique in meditation to help someone really change their mindset on a certain blockage. So do you see here we've gone from the general business pillar, which is mindset, and then we've gone down to break that down into three other subcategories, meditation, affirmation, and language, and then we've been able to break this down into more videos. So with affirmation, you could have like 10 power affirmations. You could have, um, let's see, abundance affirmations. I mean, there could be so many videos on that, right? Um, relationship affirmations. Melissa Farr repeatedly has affirmations in her emails and I write them all down. <laughs> I have like 50 of them because they're so powerful. Um, so these are three more videos. Then when you're talking about language and thoughts, you can talk about expectation and how damaging that can be to the body and how to switch that to intention. You can talk about speaking in love to yourself. I'm glad this is backwards for you guys because my writing is a beast. Speaking in love to yourself, um, and you can talk about how to, um, how to communicate with others in terms of your language. So instead of saying something like, you did this, this, or this to me, instead switching it up to be, hey, I've noticed that um, the way that you've been speaking to me is in more of a negative context. Is there something that I've done that's made you maybe feel this way because I have nothing but love and respect for you? Those kind of reversal things. Obviously, I'm not an expert in language, but um, do you see how with this one business pillar in five minutes, or it's maybe even less than that, I've been able to outline nine videos. I think maybe I said 10 in the title, so we can throw another one in here. Uh, affirmations for wealth, there you go. And this is a really easy way to do it because you always want your videos uh, intersecting with your business pillars. That way it's a lot easier to categorize if you do have like a month of specific content. So for me in video month, all of my videos were going to be structured around helping you be more visible, helping you outline your content for your videos, helping you plan your videos, helping you step out in visibility, all those kinds of things because that's the one goal that I want. And the beautiful thing is that my visibility training, my um, live streams, my other videos that I've been doing, my podcasts, all of that goes under my business pillar on my YouTube channel. So suddenly in a month, I have like 10 or 12 videos that are all going in that one subcategory on my YouTube channel. So it's a really easy way to up the amount of videos you're doing, increase the amount of videos you're putting in your email sequences to people that are in specific funnels, and making yourself more and more visible. So I hope this is kind of giving you a little bit more clarity. I'm here for a couple more minutes if you have any questions. But what I noticed is when I was able to bring clarity to exactly who I was, exactly how I was able to serve and really wrote out my results. Like Adrian Dorison teaches to write out a hundred results that you can provide for your client. And you're like, Oh, a hundred results. And then you sit down and you're like, uh, <laughs> it takes a minute to be able to think in that kind of context about yourself and your giftings. But once you start doing that, it really helps that mission statement flow like butter. It makes it so much easier. And that helps you establish your business pillars. So it's a really, really important component to understand in your business if you are going to be creating videos. Because yeah, you could be spewing titles all the live long day. And I have no problem like doing a special live stream in my group if someone's really struggling on something that's a little off topic. But mainly, I'm always pulling from my business pillars. It's a really essential thing to do, and so I wanna encourage you to do that. So here's your homework. I want you to sit down, and I want you to really clearly write out who you are and how you serve. If you need to write out those 100 results, do it. And then I want you to be able to start outlining your business pillars, doing subcategories, and then doing videos. So you should have 10 videos pretty easily. I would love to know what they are. I hope that this has been helpful, informative, 
and instructive. That is always my intention coming to you guys and uh, giving you a little bit of wisdom. I've definitely learned everything the hard way, so I'm so happy to be bringing this more easily and effortlessly to you. In the meantime, it's a Thursday today. Friday is gonna be an awesome day, so let's wrap up the week powerfully and know that you have all of my love and support as you move forward with your video creation. And I'll see you guys next time, okay?